Hello, just loading his poop. Hi there, Bastion here. Today I'm taking on a large project. I don't know if I can get done in one video. Here we have nine little creatures that need a home. And I have an empty shelf. So I'm thinking we can make them an apartment. I don't know how they're gonna afford it. It's gonna be five bedrooms. So I'm gonna make them a two floor luxury apartment out of cardboard. Why is everything loud? Maybe we'll try to do this intro later and I'll just friggin' start. Excuse the not great angle, the bad lighting, and the screaming children in the background. The first thing we're gonna do is figure out the floor situation. I have lots of random cardboard that I was going to use for book binding, but this seems like a, uh, <laughs> a better purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna just make, we might end up making some kind of door opening situation because they need privacy, right? It would be mean if I gave them a nice, two floor apartment with a view and then they didn't get any privacy. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use to stick it up. Probably just tape because I don't want to ruin this cabinet because I'm sure eventually it's gonna be used for something that's not an apartment for toys. And I'll do a, I always forget the word, speed, speed run, fast forward. Molly ringworm. Where can I put this? I don't have a tripod that I can like set this on though. It needs to be like right here. I need a tripod, man. Maybe I'll just have to take my word for it. I'll just do it and then you 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 get the idea. Alright, oh, hold on. So I've run into a bit of a snag. I have the cardboard all in there, but I don't think it's going to be big enough to have five bedrooms. Hmm. What can I do? The wheels are turning really hard in my head right now. If I make all the bedrooms have a wall that can be opened, will I be able to do that with cardboard? It's not gonna work, is it? Is it gonna work? It might work. Hmm. This is just the worst lighting in the world, right? But you're used to that by now. This is the most ridiculous project I think I've ever worked on. <laughs> Update. Taking paper. I've put it. I've put it down. Uh, and I've made a blueprint of the two floors <sighs> to make sure there's going to be enough room. I figured out how to make five bedrooms. I don't know what I was thinking before. For some reason, I thought I needed six. Anyway, so I have one bedroom, two bedroom, dining area, living room, stairs, kitchen. There's going to be like a half wall here. Um, I'm going to have a door like on this bedroom so you can open it. And then a door on this bedroom so you can open it. And then you're just going to be able to see in here. And then for the second floor, there's just going to be three bedrooms with doors that open. What am I doing with my life? I think the first video is going to have to be just getting the basics and putting the walls and the floors and stuff in. Next week, we'll have to be doing all of the furniture and everything like that. Why am I torturing myself like this? Once I get all the walls put in, I'll check back with you. The first floor is coming together. Let me show you what's going on. All right, here is bedroom number one. And it's got a little door that's really going to open and close. Then we have this back here is going to be the kitchen. There's a little half wall here. This is going to be where the dining table is, the living room sort of, and then the staircase that's going to go to the second floor. And this is bedroom number two with a door. So the last thing that I have to do for the first floor before I glue the stuff in is or tape it glue it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Is figure out the door situation. But that that shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna work on that now. <sighs> my hair is crazy. I have been doing this all day. And uh, I'm going a little insane. My original idea was to just use like duct tape and put some duct tape on one side where I want the door to be. Like put some duct tape right here and then it will swing open but stay on there. <laughs> and then I had the bright idea to use like a piece of fabric because like when you're bookbinding, you use a piece of fabric on the spine to make sure when you open it and stuff, it doesn't like come apart and everything. I thought maybe this, since I would be opening 
but I'm not gonna be opening the door all the time. It's not like I'm gonna be playing with this thing. It's mostly just a prop. I thought I'll put a piece of fabric here and then that will make it stay better. But honestly, I think a piece of duct tape is just gonna work better. I'm gonna go get some duct tape. Bedroom number two. Door opens. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue or tape or whatever the cardboard in for the first floor. And then I'm gonna start working on the second floor. Maybe I should just do the first floor for now because I wanna do like a, a fancy flooring for the living room. I'm gonna attach all the walls and everything into the first floor and then uh, start working on the decor, I guess. And we'll see what happens. All right, here we have it. The doors pop open. I'm gonna start by putting the floors in. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so cute. Ooh, this is a spooky angle. Everything is a mess again. Oh. Hello, it's a few days later. I've done mostly the last bit of work on the walls and the floors of the first floor of the mini apartment. I guess that's what we're gonna call it because it's mini and it's an apartment. So I'm gonna show that to you now. <laughs> Ignore all the mess down there. This is a work in progress. Here we have bedroom number one. This is where these guys are going to be living. They're a couple. I made them a little pink door. Be a little bit careful with them though. Boop. So their door opens into the living room slash kitchen. <laughs> Does not know what to focus on. So I gave the living room a hardwood floor. I cut up popsicle sticks and I painted them. Look at that. Their kitchen has a little half wall, which I'm going to put some kind of thing on top of it so that they can store things. There is a messed up spot here, which uh, I assume all of the little creatures are probably gonna trip over a whole bunch. Door to the, the second bedroom. <laughs> Hello? She's got a little purple door in here. This is gonna be her room. She actually owns this house. She's just renting to all of her friends. Her walls are made of red velvet and she has a lovely purple carpet. Your room is beautiful, lady. It is a little messed up right here, but you know, just don't look at that. Second floor will be coming up in the next mini apartment video. Hopefully this will start some kind of goofy sitcom or something like that that I can kind of <laughs> base some stories off of or just have fun with. We'll see. In the next video, we'll be working on the second floor. I don't know if it'll be in that video or if it will be in the video after that, but we will be also working on all of their little furnitures. Yes, there will be windows. <laughs> And I'm freezing in my little tortilla blanket, so that, that's why I'm not flailing my arms about in excitement. I think that's that's about it. So stay tuned and um, like, like for part two, is that what people say? I don't know. I love you. Follow me on stuff. I'll put all my social media in the doobly ding dong. What is it called? Description. Co comments? No description in the description box below that is where all my stuff will be follow me um and like me if you like me and if you don't leave a mean comment i don't care uh bye the, this whole thing has been a disaster <laughs>